Should I do it this way so I'm not blocking The other you? way was actually better. Is it? Okay. Yeah. We're here in Landlock, Colorado. Teaching kids to scuba dive and the importance of marine science and ocean conservation. Through a scholarship of a lifetime. Their first classroom session to kick off their scuba training. And today we had the steam fest. Alright guys, ready to go? Fest is an event that occurs every year in Longmont, and it's a way for nonprofits, schools, teachers, all to get together with the public to really expose them to science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So we are up at the Rocky Mountain Steam Fest today. I'm super excited. I've never been to one of these events and I think it's gonna blow the kids' minds. We're gonna be putting in a few hours at the Ocean First Institute booth as well, volunteering and just helping speak with the public about ocean issues going on and plastic pollution and just helping spread the message and raise awareness about these issues. That's our airplane for the keys. Make us. I'm flying. different booths. I made like this cool thing to see different light and we launched we launched rockets. We Are you guys going to launch your own rockets? Yes. It is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm not using much tape. There's no tape. There's no tape up on this at all. Okay. Go, 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 go. The beachy fuzzy mouth. 5 4 3 2 1. Oh. 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 So Ocean First Institute is a nonprofit organization. We're based in Boulder, Colorado, and our mission is ocean conservation through research and education. So we do research in the field and bring those stories back into the classroom to inspire students to care and to take action. So we're here volunteering at the Ocean First Institute booth today, and there is this awesome dice game. We don't just have your standard reduce, reuse, recycle, we also have refuse, which is the most important, and then rot for compost. And they each have a bunch of pictures on them of different items that would you might find in your trash. And the whole idea of this is basically that you're gonna roll the dice, and whatever item is on top, you have to decide what's the best choice for this. It's gonna be fun. I think the kids are really gonna enjoy this event. Having events like STEAM Fest is yet another opportunity to explain what science is, how it helps us in conservation, and how it helps us in our everyday lives in making the right decisions to help protect our ocean. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> practice exam and that was actually the reason I was unable to attend the STEAM event unfortunately I wish I could have been there but I was working hard picnic time Even though you know I'm gonna drink the juice. because I'm taking the test official test in less than two weeks I went, I went, I <laughs> Emily really was working hard studying up for her ACT along with a couple of our other students so we definitely miss them but now back to STEAM Our big message at Steamfest was ocean pollution. So ocean pollution is a really big problem facing our oceans and ultimately us today. We use over 500 million straws a day in America. These are things we don't need to be using and they're ending up in our ocean. They're harming wildlife and ultimately some of the plastic is being eaten by fish that we then are eating ourselves. So we're eating our own trash. It seems pretty unbelievable. But what we wanted to do is to have our volunteers tell that message to the public so that they could understand the problem and then discover the very simple things that they could do to be part of the solution.
Volunteering at this event is an excellent opportunity to give back and engage. It fosters a sense of community and leadership, valuable skills to develop at this age. Be sure to come back next week and see how the students do in their first pool session. Don't miss it.